Flask WTF Python Flask tutorial for beginners. Let's understand WTF. WTF is built-in module which stands for WT forms. Why it is used? It supports data validation and CSRF protection. It is one more way for designing form element in Python and render them using HTML template. Before working on Flask WTF, Flask WTF extension should be installed. To install, go to your terminal window and type here command pip install flask wtf. Click enter. Here I have already installed WTF so it is showing like this. If you are installing WTF for the first time, in last you can see the message successfully installed. So now WTF is installed. To create a form, first create a file with name form submission.py. Let's say you want to register for go get my guru mat. How you will register? By giving some data to the go get my guru mat. To give data, you need some form, right? So then let's start creating a form in Python. To create form, you need to import form from flash WTF. Here form is the parent class. So next in forms, you can observe that there is a text fields and radio buttons and also submit button. So let's will import the fields which we wanted for designing the form. Text field to enter the username, password field to enter the password, integer field to enter the phone number and text area field to enter the address, radio field and, and submit field to submit the form. These fields are imported from WT forms which we used for designing the form. We will create a class name go get my guru mat registration form so here you have to import the parent class that is form will make user to enter the username so we'll select text field for text field we'll give label is equal to username and we'll assign the text field name has username and we'll store in variable called name so to enter password we'll select password field and we'll label it as password and this password will store in variable called password and to enter the user phone number we'll select integer field so we'll label it as enter mobile number we'll store in variable called phone number so to enter the address of the user we'll select text area field and we'll label it as address and we'll store in variable called address and to select gender we'll select radio field We'll give choices male and female and we'll store in variable called gender. And to enter age, we'll select integer field and we'll label it as age and store in variable called age. So now form is filled and we want to submit this data. So select submit field. So give name send and store in variable called submit. All these fields are similar to what we write in input tag of HTML. The main use of WT forms, it supports data validation. How? We'll see. Suppose, let's consider go get my guru mat registration form. While registering, the user may forget to add phone number. He will click on submit button. In that case, registration form will be incomplete. So, data is incomplete. So, to avoid that, if user click on submit button, even if registration form is incomplete, then to the respective field it should show please fill out this field so to get that validation we'll import validators validation errors and data required from wt forms here data required is a class and validation error is also a class and validators is module so to get validators we'll write here validators is equal to data required and we'll write this validators for the phone number field and also for password field. This is how we have to design the form in Python. So to say this form, let's create a HTML page with name register.html which I have already created. So select here HTML5. So give title for this page is go get my guru mat registration form. And to display go get my guru mat registration form, select h1 tag in h1 tag write go get my guru mat registration form and here you can select style go get my guru mat registration form this heading should display in center 
So we'll select text align is center and color crimson font size is 25 px. We'll take table tag. So in table tag, we'll take table row tag. In table row tag, we'll take table data tag to display the data in single row. So in first td tag, write form dot name dot label. In second td tag, write form dot name. Form dot name dot label means it will assign the label for the text field. Form dot name means it is a text field. So for all fields, we'll take table row and table data tags. For password, here we'll write form dot password dot label. For phone number, we'll write form dot phone number dot label. In one more TD tag, we'll write form dot phone number. And for gender, we'll write gender. So in one more TD tag, write form dot gender. In future, I may use CSS file to this HTML file. So I'll take class is equal to gender iPhone options. For address, write form dot address dot label. And here also write form dot address. Close this. For age, write form dot age dot label. And here write form dot h. For submit button write form dot submit. For submit button also I may use CSS file. So I'll take here class is equal to anchor iPhone button and close. We'll take this table tag in one div tag. So we'll write here div and here close div tag. So in div tag take class is equal to table iPhone section. To check validation for name field, we'll write percentage for message in form dot name dot errors. So here we'll take div tag. In div tag we'll write in div tag we'll write message and then percentage percentage in between percentage write end for. Copy this and for phone number change here phone number. And for password, change here password. And to validate for phone number and password, just change form dot phone number dot errors, form dot password dot errors. In this way, we have to create HTML template for the form. Next, we'll create CSS file for this HTML file. So here, the first class is table iPhone section. So we'll copy this and we'll go to custom dot CSS dot table iPhone section and to make table has a center selected border 2 px solid blue violet border radius is 5 px padding is 20 px display is inline block inline block in table the item should be aligned in center so we selected align item set and selected background color has a light blue and text align is center margin left 580 px and margin top is 40 px for submit button also we have written class right so we'll copy this anchor button We'll go to CSS file dot anchor iPhone button. To make decoration for the submit button, select it border, border radius, padding, display, margin, font size, background, color. Copy this class gender options. Go to custom dot CSS. In gender iPhone options, write list hyphen style colon none. So let's link this CSS file to HTML file. We'll take here link tag. In link tag, We'll write here type is equal to text slash CSS. In href, we'll write URL underscore for static comma file name is equal to custom dot CSS. So next job is to import go get my guru mart registration form class to Python flash script. We'll import go get my guru mart registration form class to this python flask script here go get my guru mart registration form is the class which is importing from the form submission here form submission is the file name in this form submission file name we have go get my guru mart registration form class so we'll write here app dot secret key is equal to private key each class web application contains a secret key it is used to encrypt or decrypt the data Secret key value should be complex random value. So now let's understand the scenario how user will get the go get my guru mart registration form. Let's consider in home page of go get my guru mart there is a link called register. When user click on register link he will get the form of go get my guru mart registration form. After filling the form when he click on submit should go to success form submission. Else Sometimes if he without entering data to the some fields of the form, if he clicks on submit, it should show that validation errors. First step is to we create 
home page and login page creating home page and login page i have already explained in our previous video sending form data to template you can watch that video by clicking above card it will be helpful for you to create projects the continuation for the last video sending form data to the template we have added one more extra concept that is wt forms so now you have to concentrate on the function which i will write now in previous code how we created function for home page and login page like that we have to create function for registration form so we'll write def name registration form so we have to create object for the go get my guru registration form class which we have created in form submission python file so we'll write go get my guru mark registration form is equal to go get my guru mat registration form we'll write route function decorator at app dot route slash registration form comma methods is equal to post comma get next we'll write if request dot method is equal to post before rendering to the any html templates check that validations for the form so write one more condition if go get my guru registration form dot validate is equal to call then flash please fill out this field import flash so here validate is a function which is accessed by the object go get my guru mat registration form which is created for the go get my guru mat registration form class so what is the use of this validate function it will validate the form and it returns true if validation pass if it returns false it will again render the register.html flash the message please fill out this field else then redirect to the success form submission function redirect url underscore for success form submission so we'll import redirect and url underscore for so now we'll create a function with name success form submission url underscore for success form submission will redirect to the success form submission function so in success form submission function it will render the success form submission dot html and will write here route function decorator for the success form submission or app dot route slash success form submission if request dot method is equal to post then these conditions will execute if request dot method is equal to get then it will render the register dot html so now we'll create success form submission dot html so select your html file so write title name as go get my guru mat so in success form submission to display welcome go get my guru mat registration completed successfully we'll write h1 tag in h1 tag we'll write welcome username go get my guru mat registration completed successfully this username is to display welcome go get my guru mat registration completed successfully in center right text align center font size 30 px and color blue violet to get link for home page in success form submission page we'll take uncle tag in paragraph tag so here we'll write url underscore for home and to create login link in success form submission we'll take one more uncle tag in paragraph tag so here we'll change login and here also we'll change login so we'll take button class is equal to anchor iphone here also take the same class paragraph tag we'll take in div tag so link this html file to python flash script by taking form tag in div tag we'll create a class called header iphone menu section and copy this class go to custom.css dot and here select options display flex flex direction align items center justify content flex end and once again link this css file to success form submission html file by taking link tag copy the link tag from register.html file so now success form submission html file is ready and also link this register.html file to python flash script by using form tag with one more addition tag form.hidden underscore tag the use of this tag is to prevent against csrf attack go to app.py to display username in success form submission after submitting the data write session of name is equal to request.form of name and also in success form submission 
function right name is equal to session dot get of name comma none and delete this username and go to success form submission html here write session of name and go to app dot py we will run this code by writing command python iphone m flag run click on follow link so it will go to the home page of go get my guru mart so when you click on register link it will go to the go get my guru mart registration form in go get my guru mart registration form after entering the data to the username field password field enter mobile number field gender and address age when you click on send button it will go to the success form submission page in success form submission page it will display welcome admin admin is the username which we have given in go get my guru mart registration form in success form submission page we have link for home page and also login page when you click on this home page it will go to the go get my guru mart home page so now we have to check for validation once again click on register link which is in home page of go get my guru mart then enter username and password don't enter mobile number and also enter the data for the address and age and select gender then click on send button now we'll see what validation error we'll get here it is displaying please fill out this field for the mobile number field so now just enter username has admin and don't enter password enter mobile number then select gender has mail and give address bangalore and then enter age click send button so for password field it is flashing please fill out this field not enter the password field now let's try for username field just enter password and delete this username click send button so for username field it is flashing please fill out this field in this way we can get the use of wt forms please subscribe to our channel to support us